Hi and welcome to this short but nonetheless hopefully very valuable video. And what I want to share with you is, is something that I come across all the time when I'm consulting with clients. And that is the whole concept of what contact management is all about. You need to be able to contact the individuals that you deal with in business on a regular basis. So what ACT allows you to do is find records in the database that haven't had any sort of editing or communication within a given time period. And, and it's very, very easy to achieve, but very few people seem to be aware that this functionality is available. So I want to kick straight into this and, and really give you some value here. So the field that we actually search on is by default contained within the contact access tab and it's this field here, edit date. So what that simply does, whenever anybody on the system makes a change to a record, this field is automatically updated. It's a system field in the database and obviously can't be changed and, and it automatically stamps who edited the record. So what we can do, because that's a date field and you may or may not be aware, but ACT automatically changes the operators available because it is a date field, what we can do is search the contents of our entire database for records that have not been edited within a given time period. So I'm just gonna find every record in my database where that edit date is older than 180 days, which obviously is roughly six months. So what we do, we simply right click on the field, choose look up edit date, and we change the operator to older than number of days. We then enter 180 in this field, but obviously if you want to maybe change that to, to 90 days, just to check who hasn't been contacted within three months, then that's absolutely fine. I'm just doing this for example. And then once we're happy, we simply click OK. So there we have 170 records in our database that have not been contacted or edited in any way, shape or form within the last six months. And at that point, obviously, we can go through the process of contacting them either by phone, email or by post. But we can actually take this a step further, because if this is a lookup that you perform on a regular basis, a great way to actually become even more efficient is to create a group and assign a dynamic membership criteria. So that's exactly what I'm gonna show you right now. So into groups, and what we're gonna do is create a new group where we're gonna call it no contact in six months. And we're gonna save it. Always get in the habit of saving your groups, although ACT by default will save the information, I just think it's good practice to actually save the information. What you now want to do is add remove contacts. And there's several ways that we could actually do. We could manually add these contacts, but like I said, I want to automatically get members into this group based upon the interaction that I have with them in the database. So we simply click on edit criteria. And if you're not familiar with this, and I urge you to check out some of my training, in particular Group Goldmine, where I actually go through the entire group module in great detail. So I'm just going to look at the field called Edit Date. And the operator, again, is going to be older than X number of days. In the value, we're going to put 180. We now add that to the list. We can preview that to see that we still get 176, which is great and we click OK, and now we click OK again. So there instantly, we've got a dynamic group where contacts are automatically gonna get added and also removed. That's the important part about dynamic group membership, is that the query is constantly running in the background. So once we make a change, obviously individuals will then automatically be removed from that particular group so that you know that you're only ever working with the correct contacts at any point in time. And let me just prove this to you. So here we've got Anne Goodall, who obviously hasn't had any sort of change to her contact record within the last six months. So let me just make a change to her. And I'm just gonna put in an email address. Where are we? Here we are. So we're gonna put Anne at a1.com 
and we're going to click on save if I now go back to my group you notice she's automatically been removed because she no longer matches the criteria that I've specified for dynamic group membership and that's it that's exactly how you find data in your system that has not been modified in a given time period so that you can then subsequently follow up with them and hopefully generate some new business so that's it from me take care I hope you've seen value in this implement all of what I teach you into your own system and I'm absolutely certain you'll see some great benefit and more importantly some great results so take care my name is Keith Wilson and I'll talk to you again very very soon Thank you.